Welcome back, loyalties. It's your girl, Miss Monificent. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Today, I am bringing you another Dollar Tree DIY. This is my Dollar Tree DIY over the sofa table or side table, whatever you want to call it. Uh, stay tuned to see how I created my table. I will leave a list of all of the items that I use for this DIY down below in the description box, so please be sure to check that out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be gluing my cutting boards in a square shape. I'm going to be gluing the one side, as you can see, and then once I do the two boards like that, then I'll pick them up and I'll glue down the long sides of the boards. something against the boards to press it up against the wall just so that it can you know hold while it's gluing after I've given my board some hours to dry I am taking this Elmer's wood glue it says that it's stainable and paintable and I want to fill in especially that gap in the middle and I'm also going to be trying to fill in where all four boards meet and I'm also going to be letting this sit overnight to dry taking these signs and I did purchase 10 of these and I'm going to be taking four of them I'll be gluing two together like this and then I'll take another two and I'll glue them together like this as well I do want to note that you want to glue all of your little signs all facing the same way with the sign with the words on it facing outwards filler on my cutting board is pretty much dry. I haven't sanded it yet. I'm going to be taking um, four more of those signs and I'm going to try to build a box around the sides. Um, I'm going to, as I said before, although you see this one facing inwards, all of the words will be facing on the outer side right now I'm just forming my square so that I know what size length to cut for the shorter side of the rectangle downstairs and as I said before my basement is a mess so I don't even try to take the camera down there now that I'm back from cutting my boards to size now I'm going to be gluing them with some E6000 and I did start off with one nail trying to nail it in and it was just way too much work so that's why you see my drill here I end up taking um, screws and screwing it together
okay so I'm just going to be doing this as you can see all around the box I did end up because it seemed like the two on each side kind of pushed um, the wood kind of split it a little bit so I ended up on the other side just putting one screw for each side along with the E6000 Okay, you all have to accept my apology. I've already attached one square of the base using brackets as well as uh, E6000. Now I'm going to flip it over. The other side that I'm doing now is the legs. And I'm going to show you the exact same way that I attached it using E6000 and brackets. And the way that I was able to do this without any help is I used the black tape to hold the brackets down while I screw one hole in. And then I was able to screw the next hole in. After the first hole, I could remove the tape and then screw in the screw into the second hole of the brackets. Because on the brackets, there are four holes, two on each side for the L-shaped brackets. As far as the straight brackets, there are only two holes.
decided to put um, two straight brackets where the two um, legs meet for each side so as you can see I'm going to put an L bracket after it dries I made a mistake and tried to do it before it dried and it didn't work out well also as you can see here I didn't use the tape but I went back to do it correctly you want to lay the black tape on one side so that it doesn't move so that you can get that firm hole between the two pieces together and I do this for each leg now I'm going to turn it over to his side and I'm going to begin to attach the L brackets and I'm going to do the same thing using the black tape. I'm going to attach the tape on one side to hold down the bracket while I screw down one side of the bracket and then I remove the tape and screw down the other hole of the bracket. So I took the legs that I was putting together, the base, I took that down and gave it a few coats of black spray paint. And while it is drying, I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to sand down this wood filler as best as I can. And then I'll begin to paint. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Waverly Dark Antique Wax. Um, and I'm going to give this a couple of coats on top and let it dry and then I'm going to give it just one good coat on the back and let it dry. brackets so that I know where to place my table and I did place the brackets as you can see unevenly so that my table will hold together so I have one like on one cutting board and then one on the other other cutting board on opposite sides and then I'm going to do the same thing on the shorter opposite sides I'm going to place my black L brackets now that I have my base all screwed together, I am taking some of these Dollar Tree um, little felt pads and I'm going to be placing one on all four corners. And that is it for today's Dollar Tree DIY. I really hope you all like. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. I always appreciate it. If you're visiting, I ask that you stay a while by hitting that loyal button down below. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the fun. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, God bless.